What's up guys? HTG Brian back with some more Lego 2K Drive, Drive, Drive. In this video, we're going to cover all golden spider locations scattered throughout Hauntsboro. That is accurate. We have officially moved on from the old Prospecto Valley and are now taking on the final area, starting with the golden spider locations, which are scattered throughout the sort of bottom left or southwest area of the map. And hey, if you're looking for quick links, we've got them down below in the video description. That's right. All 15 of our collectibles can be found down there with a nice quick link to take you right to the point of the video where we find it so as i mentioned in the bottom left hand corner is going to be our focal point here and uh just to the left of our garage down here we're going to find a little body body of water <laughs> Botter of water <laughs> easy for me to say anyways uh we'll go ahead and tag that whip a yui and uh start our journey off here there is a little bit of a hill climb here to avoid a treacherous plummet to your doom. Actually, it's just down to a road, but I found the high ground to be easier. Now, we are going to get wet, and look at that. What? It's actually up there on the wall, hiding out. So these golden spiders can be seen from quite a far distance away, thanks to their glimmer and glam. And look at that. Bam! We went ahead and used the old jump button, followed by a boosterini, and it took us right in there and grabbed the first spider. So next up, now, I gotta be honest, I am not a fan of spiders, so I am super stoked that these were not moving. Could you imagine if they were animated moving around? Speaking of moving around, we actually just have to drive down and around the edge of this little body of water. And look at that, we've got our second golden spider just chilling, kind of, uh, I guess it's in the web area. It sort of feels like inside a waterfall, but no, it's not. Ooh, it's rather muddy too. Hopefully you brought your, <laughs> your super swampers. All right, next up, we're gonna target one a little bit further up, and it just so happens we're actually gonna surpass two of them, but it's all part of our greater plan for the perfect line throughout Hauntsboro to get all 15 of these in one big swoop. So we've actually just driven one by one at the house back there. There is a big root of a tree that we drove by that has one too, and those will be the next ones we jump onto after we get done with this one. So up here by this on-the-go starting point, we actually have a rock. And at the top, you guessed it, it's going to be golden spider number three. So uh, very well-placed jump, followed by a well-timed boost. Should get you up there. And we're going to go ahead and target number four. So this one's a little bit further down. Like I said, we got to do a little backtracking. And there happens to be a giant root from this tree and we're gonna actually go to the bottom of it and drive up and on about the third tier up there the third shelf or stair is going to be a glimmer that's right it's number four and after a quick peek at the map we'll go ahead and slowly go up there now we're gonna actually whip around again and just drive back to the bottom here be careful because if you fall off it could actually sort of mess up where you are and although you just have to come up and around to this house it may be a bit confusing. So just be careful up on that route. Next up, we got number five, which is actually gonna be chilling right on the front doorstep here. So uh, it's kind of hiding amongst the webs and the spider rocks, I guess, the little eggies. All right, moving right along. Number six is actually gonna be stuffed behind a giant stump with a, uh, well, a rather handsome pumpkin on it. <laughs> I mean, handsome, uh, I, I guess it's probably only a face a mother could love, but uh, regardless, there is a golden spider tucked up behind the giant stump, so definitely don't drive by without saying hi. Now, next up, there's actually one right around the corner. In fact, the next couple are right here, sort of bango, bango, bongo, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, we're going to come out from behind that stump and sort of uh, do the old Han Solo, lazily lean to the left, just ever so slightly. And there should be a nice patch of grass. And amongst that grass should be number seven. And guess what? Number eight's right here, too. It's almost in plain sight, except for it's down below us a little bit. So uh, there is a road that sort of zigs and zags down below, and we're going to drop down onto it. And we've actually just jumped right by it. There you go, it's right there hanging out on the wall. We'll go ahead and use the old jump for that. That's right, jump for joy. In this case, uh, I'm not a big fan of spiders, as I've already mentioned, a little bit of an arachnophobe. 
which, you know, that was a great movie. And I'm actually kind of surprised with all the technology and everything that they haven't brought that one back. I mean, it's sort of a classic, probably best left untouched, but... Oh, speaking of arachnophobia, boy. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to recreate it here in Lego form. Never was a fan. Never was a fan of them spiders, I promise you that. All right, this one actually requires a little bit of luck, a good boost, and a properly timed jump. Now, luckily, the hitbox or detection for those spiders being picked up is actually rather large, so uh, I didn't quite bust through the spider, but I was able to collect it. So hopefully you'll have the same luck. Now, there is a perk, too, that you can equip to your vehicle. And if you're finding that your vehicle isn't the one I'm using and you're having a hard time jumping, you might switch to the old off-roader. And uh, even so, if you're having trouble with the off-roader, you might actually toggle on the double jump perk, which does not allow you to jump as high with the single jump, but the double jump should get you higher than a single. So, uh, Anyways, all right, all the way at the top of another tree root, we're going to find number 10. So uh, up, up, and away. Oh, no, some spiders. Go ahead and blast our way through them. And, oh, snap, he actually webbed us. What a jerk. Next up, we're going to go ahead and target one. We're actually going to make our way all the way down and around this road here as it has uh, pretty uh, pretty much the rest of the collectibles we need. So we'll follow it up, and there's a giant tree alongside the road here. And right off the ledge, there happens to be another golden spidey. So we'll drop down after showing you on the map where she blows. There she goes. All right, so next up, actually, we can see the next one. There's a light spot on the ground, uh, probably about 200 meters right in front of us. Oh, 250, I was close. And we're gonna drive up on over to this hillside. In fact, it looks like a giant church or cathedral of sorts. And right in between the old road there, that's kind of like a loop-de-loop. -loop. We'll actually uh, go ahead and drive right on through to the other side of the road. In fact, you can already see the glow for the next one up at the top of the hill there, right in front of what seems to be a windmill. That's right. We'll go ahead and grab that guy. See, look at it. Look how bright that is. It's like, hello, I'm right here. Some of these are pretty easy to grab. Likely didn't need a video for all 15. However, uh, some of you I know like getting them all in one go and not having to run around and try to spend a bunch of time finding them. And knowing that they're all clumped up in a single area is very helpful in its own. So uh, just that fact alone should help you out. Next up, 14, it's actually right on the back side of that same cathedral, a little bit further, right in front of a little cottage house and a couple of candles. And not, not a, we didn't need any light for those. I mean, we already know these spiders are bright enough. Next one is straight ahead. There's a giant tree that's kind of up and out of the ground here. And right in the middle at the base is going to be the final one. Woo to the hoo 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 all right, so we'll go ahead and swoop that up. And of course, we'll jump for joy, because we've got them all c -c 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 complete. Got some bucks, got some XP, got some drive points, and a couple of stickers, it looks like, to go on some custom builds. So, Golden Spiders, d -d done, did. Next up, the Hero's Journey, which happens to be those little mushrooms, I believe. I, I, Tyler P. labeled them a little differently, so I have to verify that, but I'm pretty sure I got that locked in. But hey, guys, check us out on social media and at happythumbsgaming.com if you have not already. And uh, much love to you all. Don't forget to click that like button. And as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. Bye.